This video is designed to show you some of the key concepts we went over in Lesson 2-7. Today's goal was to be able to multiply any decimal by a power of 10. And the key tip of the day is the number of zeros in your power of 10 equals the number of spaces you move the decimal to the right. And it's important to understand that you only move the decimal to the right whenever you're multiplying by powers of 10. So now I have my problem of 2 and 25 hundredths times 10. Now instead of writing this problem vertically, I have it horizontal. And the only thing that will change in this problem is the location of the decimal. So what I will do is write 2.25 over again. Now I look at my power of 10, and I can see that I just have one zero there. So since there's one zero and a 10, that means I move my decimal one place to the right. So I take my decimal, move it to the right, now that is 22 and 5 tenths. So I will just write my answer down at the bottom, 22 and 5 tenths for my final answer. So 2 and 25 hundredths times 10 equals 22 and 5 tenths. Now here's another example, 41 and 6 tenths times 100. So my first step is writing 41 and 6 tenths. I'll write that over again. Now I'm going to take a look at my power of 10. I can see that 100 has two zeros in it. And since 100 has two zeros in it, that means I'm going to move my decimal point two places to the right. So my first step is moving my decimal place one place to the right. And now I have run out of numbers. And so I will need to just move the decimal point point one more place to the right and now in class we talked about this as being a basket so whenever I have a basket that is open I just drop a zero in the basket or we call it an egg in the basket okay so now I have 41 and 6 tenths times 100 equals 4160 so it's important to remember that whenever we run out of, out of numbers to the right we just add zeros for how many more place values we need to move that decimal to the right as you can see we had 41.6 we were at the right of the six we don't have any more numbers to go around so we just added a zero giving us a grand total of 4160.